know as operation operation audit or efficiency audit so those are the method and procedure of carrying out internal audit work so let's move to the word relationship between internal and external auditor so in relationship we look at the similarity of both internal and external auditor in similarity let's look at the the first one in similarity both have common interest common interest both the internal and external auditor have common interest in accounting system that is they ensure that the accounting system is adequate number two of it both are expected to have a degree of independent degree of independence that is both are expected to have a degree of independent for effective and efficient performance three both ensure a sound and effective system both ensure both ensure a sound and effective system of internal control number four they use similar audit technique they use similar audit techniques number five they use or they safeguard the company asset safeguarding of the company asset number six they use or they monitor the operation operational effectiveness of internal control system monitoring monitoring the operational operational effectiveness effectiveness of the of the internal control system so those are the similarity of internal auditor and external auditor let's look at the difference between internal auditor and the external auditor difference now you have internal auditor you have external auditor internal auditor and external auditor the difference is, in terms of scope the internal auditor is restricted by manage, management restricted by management while external auditor it is stipulated or defined defined by statute the scope of the internal auditor is restricted by management while the for external auditor is defined by statute the second one in terms of what method of approach method of approach in internal auditor a review of system of internal control toward ensuring compliance i repeat a review of the system of internal control toward ensuring compliance 
why for external auditor report on the financial statement review and auditing report on the financial statement financial statement review reviewed and uh, audited Some of method of approach I said the internal auditor deal with what a review of the system of internal control toward ensuring compliance while the external auditor the report on the financial statement review and audited the third one in terms of responsibility responsibility in terms of responsibility the internal auditor is responsible to the management is responsible to the management while the external auditor is responsible responsible to the shareholders so those are the three main difference between internal auditor and external auditor but we should know that the chief internal auditor should report to whosoever exercise overall financial control in the enterprise this should be the chief executive. The internal audit function or department should not come under the control of the day-to-day -day head of the account department, as this will impair on its independence. So that is that for differences that occur between internal auditor and external auditor. So let's move to the area where the internal auditor could be assisted to external auditor what area the first one we look at the preparation of schedule preparation of schedule of schedule preparation of schedule summaries summaries and analysis required by the Require by the external auditor. The second one is the attendance, attendance and the observation, attendance and observation at stock counts, at stock counts and the cash count we may also look at the, the third one the third one by visiting the branch in case of large organization visit the branch in case of large organization the fourth one is by circularization circularization of debtors and creditors the fifth one is review of review of internal control system number six verification Verification of transaction. Verification of transaction and uh, balances. And the number seven, system document documentation. So those are the area where the internal auditor will be of assistance to external auditors. So area of work overlaps now. Areas of work overlaps. We look at the since both internal and external auditor could sometimes be qualified with the relevant professional training, they could have the following areas of work overlaps. The first one is an examination of the accounting record and support document examination examination of accounting 
records and uh, supporting document the second one is by examination examination of the system examination of the system of internal control the third one is that verification of verification of assets and uh, liabilities the fourth one is observation observation inquiring observation inquiry and the uh, making of statistics statistical and accounting accounting ratio measurement measurement so those are the area of work overlap i see i repeat number one examination of the accounting records and supporting document number two examination of the system of internal control Number three, verification of assets and liability. And number four, observation, inquiry, and the making of statistical and accounting ratio measurement. So let's move to the factor that determine factors that determine factors that determine the extent to which the external auditor can rely on the work of the internal auditor. What are the factors? Look at the one degree of independence and objectivity. Of the internal auditor, degree degree of independence. Look at the degree of independence and the objectivity of the internal auditor. That's the first one. The second one is what right? relevance of the scope and objective of internal audit function. Relevance of the scope of the scope and the objective of the internal audit function the third one is that the competency the competency the competence and the experience of the internal auditor. This bears on the quality of work. We can look at number four, the extent to which the internal auditor exercise due professional care in the conduct of their work. Exercising the extent of exercising due professional new professional care in the conduct of their in the conduct of their work so the next one which is number five the qualification of internal auditor look at the qualification qualification of internal auditor number seven look at the degree of cooperation experience in the past degree of cooperation degree of cooperation experience in the past number eight we look at the responsibility of the internal auditor responsibility responsibility of internal auditor number nine look at the efficiency of the internal 
audit department efficiencies of the internal audit department and we can also have the adequate